Hi gang, this is Scott and we're at uh, British Car Field Day, June 21st, 2015 in Sussex. And that's Sussex, Wisconsin, not Sussex, England. And uh, I'm sitting in the, I'm sitting in the uh, front seat of my car, which I'm not <laughs> entering for obvious reasons. Um, but uh, I got here and I, I mainly took some testing out a still film camera I and it's so bright I only tested one of them because the other ones had high higher speed film that would just be too bright and uh, they were doing judging so I I, I just kind of let the camera roll and saw the cars in motion then I then I uh, did some walking around with the cars that were left and took some video and, and a little bit of commentary here and there so I hope you enjoy this uh, this day here at uh, Sussex, Wisconsin, British Car Field Day. Jim Daring. I hear clapping, so obviously somebody hears me. First place, car 211, car 211, Richard Heinen. Richard Heinen. And if I butcher your last name, I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't pronounce them correctly, but I work hard at it. Next one is Class D, Triumph Spitfire, two awards. Second place, car 102-102, Dave Lockman. Dave Lockman. First place, car 79, car 79, Kim Casper. Bring your car up here to receive your awards, please. Come on up. Two, 122. Uh, okay, Thanos. Hang on a second. Second place is car 122, Thanos Corleoros. Sorry if I missed that one. First place, car 139, 139, Robert Phyllis or Phyllis Robert, whichever it is. Next one is Class G, Triumph GT6, one award. Car number 90, 90, Ridge Howard, or Howard Ridge, whichever it is. Second place, car 37, car 37, Tom Jeffers. First place, car 186, 186, Alfred Meyer, Alfred Meyer.
Next one is Class I, Motorcycles, two awards. Second place, number 17, number 17, Craig Playwa. First place, 200, 200, Gary Baker. Next one is class J1, J1 Austin slash Mini Cooper early before 2002, two awards, second place, number 145, 145, Bob Nairbass, Bob Nairbass. We are still waiting for some that haven't shown up yet. In Class D, the Triumph Spitfire, number 79, Kim Casper, has not come up here for their, her award, or his award. And Class C, 211, Richard Heinen, we haven't seen you up here yet. Uh, Bob Nairbass, car 145, we haven't seen you up here yet for your award. First place, 101, 101, Bruce Butler. Come on up and get your awards. Stand by for a few minutes while we take care of the cars coming up here. We'll get right back to the awards. <laughs> and the parade continues.
Class W, Jaguar Lake. Two awards, second place, 172. 172, car, that's John Gagliano. First place, 138, 138, Rick Matthew. Rick Matthew, stand by. Just some running commentary. I talk to this guy a lot about his car as a V8 conversion. There was some interesting uh, running gear conversions too. He didn't. He couldn't help me on the top uh, question, but uh, he's a really nice guy. His father. He says his father's here also with a Jaguar uh, XJ series car. So the guy won. We'll announce the rest of the awards in a minute. We got a parade coming through again. This car I've actually seen at the, the shop I took my car to, NG Limited. This car was in the shop at the time for some, I guess, routine servicing. This is a, has a, a blower, a supercharger conversion. Very, very cool car. It's like, like mint condition, like, like it came out of the factory. Very cool. It's the XJ Series Jaguar. Okay, this is starting to look like the freeway at rush hour, folks. <laughs> There's another cool Jaguar there. Look at that. I love the GT. I could, if I could get another Jim G, I'd, I'd get a GT. Very cool car. car I've ever seen, you know, just Very graceful car, I think, the MGA. Not that practical in today's driving. <laughs> no roll of windows. That was considered, I guess, advanced back then. That's why they came with the, with the MGB.
Well, the show is kind of breaking up at the end of the judging, but I kind of wanted to scan the area. I wanted to show you this car because this is one of the few cars that my car actually looks better than. This is kind of like what a typical old car you might, someone might hopefully save and restore. You can see the condition looks kind of rough. I can only imagine what it looks like under the sheet metal there, but uh, it's in the rubber bumper class there. Here's a nice uh, conversion one. This is the one that I talked to that one guy at length at about this car, the one with the V8 engine conversion. And it also had a five-speed uh, transmission conversion. Just kind of scanning of the cars that are left here. So there were a lot of MGBs, Triumphs, TR3s. Uh, zoom in here. TR4s, some Sunbeams, Alpines, some of the new generation Minis. When I first got here, I immediately gravitated to the Austin Healy's because you never ever see these cars on the road. It seems like they, apparently, in most people's minds, they just become too valuable to use as a a daily driver. It's more like just a show circuit kind of car, I guess. I don't know. I might be wrong. But they have that cool masculine look that the MGs and the Triumphs just didn't have. Get the idea of the real wood cockpit there. An earlier one here, before I had the roll-up windows, I believe. Let's walk down here to these. I love the color of this one. Yeah. dashboard there, real walnut, I'm, I believe. This one. Very cool cars. Couldn't leave without getting some shots of these two E-type Jags. This one's a ladder, ladder period. With, like, uh, with the tail lights underneath the bumper. It has Wisconsin plates on it, so I judge that this probably isn't driven too much during the year. I mean, with our winters here. This one, too, this is an earlier one. Just too cool. <laughs> Look at that. That's a piece of uh, artistic sculpture as much as it is a power plant, you know. You're never going to see that kind of uh, workmanship. Now, as far as the reliability goes, <laughs> I think, you're, well, you're talking English, so. Here's a money shot for you. Is that gorgeous or what? Man, oh man.
Here's the film I shot. I shot a roll of that uh, Portra 160 with this uh, Canon A1, the first roll. This is one of my uh, uh, thrift store cameras that I found. Uh, pay a little more than than what I, than what I paid in subsequent uh, for subsequent cameras, but uh, redid the light seals on it. And as you can see, these prints turned out pretty good, although the lighting. It was like one o'clock on it, and it was pretty bright, so it's like the sun was like shining pretty much directly down. But uh, some nice pictures here of some very nice cars. I kind of want to show this one. This one I didn't really know what it was at first, but it's it, it's a '47 Triumph. I mean, that's a car you're not going to see every day by any means. Um, another one. This. I, I kind of partly showed this in the video. I didn't get a real good shot of it, but that's a, a late model Bentley, I guess. And uh, this one wasn't in the video, but uh, that's like I think that's the new the new Jaguar F type coupe, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, so yeah, it was great great shooting there, and uh, I, I hope you liked this video. And if you're also into like film photography, I'm uh, a few videos back, I made some on uh, film photography and uh, on my extensive collection of cameras that I found at thrift stores and, and, and bought off the internet. And I've been testing them mainly on car shows and stuff because it's easy subject matter to do so. So if you like these kind of videos, if you don't subscribe already, uh, you might want to do that. So, uh, But with that, with this probably longer video than I intended to make. I wish you a nice day or whenever you're watching this. So bye for now.